What sort of background or context can you provide from these two chapters? And then specifically, where does this topic fit in? Right, so so this is Luke 2, Matthew 2. These these are chapters that we all know. This is the, the you know, birth stories, the mm -hmm. infancy narratives that they're called of, uh, of Christ. And so each one has its, each one's different, right? They're each telling different uh, aspects of this birth. But Matthew and Luke are both setting up Christ's story starting with his birth. Establishing here that really the story of Christ and this wonderful salvation gospel, right, the good news, is going to begin at the birth and these incredible events that are happening. So, so there's a lot that's being discussed there about the birth of Christ and the events that surround it. In terms of the points that we're talking about, that first one uh, dealing with revelation and protection or the type of protective revelation we can receive uh, as parents or as any individual who has responsibilities over others, that seems to be emerging primarily from Matthew chapter 2 right, which would be, you've got the story of the wise men, that's the focus of Matthew chapter 2, and those wise men, they, they know about Christ, they come to Herod, and then, of course, Herod expresses interest, oh, oh I want to know who this true king is, so sure, find out who it is. When they go to Christ, at that point, they receive a revelation in which they're told not to go back to Herod and report uh, this this, about this event and about this individual. And so they end up leaving, kind of wandering wherever they go, and they go back home. Joseph also receives a revelation in which he is told that it's about to become dangerous. Take your wife, take your child, and go into Egypt. So that's where, that's where this first point seems to be emerging from, the particular narrative from Matthew 2.